Storm protection remains a top priority for residents throughout Southeast Louisiana. St. Charles Parish voters approved a special tax to pay for new flood control structures. And today, Paul Murphy toured a new West Bank levee with Congressman Garrett Graves. St. Charles Parish is building a new 33 mile long West Bank levee and pump system to protect communities and industrial plants from Luling to Lafouche. The goal is to prevent water from washing in from the Gulf of Mexico during a heavy storm. Right there. This morning, Congressman Garrett Graves and parish leaders toured the first phases of the hurricane protection structure. Graves was instrumental in securing about $8 million for the project. Years ago, we were out here and literally some of the areas where we, we've driven on today, some of the areas where we stood today, were underwater. St. Charles voters passed a new four mill property tax to help pay for new flood control structures. The interim goal is to build the levee seven feet above elevation. The parish would like to see 12 and a half feet, but needs to raise more money to achieve 100 year storm protection. Parish taxpayers are impressed with the progress so far. We need this structure. We don't want to have to evacuate if we don't have to. We at sea level, you know, so we need levees and pumps, so I'm glad they're doing it. Recently, there's been a lot of discussion in New Orleans about using retention ponds to help move water more quickly off the streets. This retention pond here along the West Bank Hurricane Protection Levee will eventually grow to about 15 acres, and it's designed to keep water off the streets in the Willowdale subdivision in Luling. We can get the water into our retention and when it gets high, pump it out. Congressman Graves called the new levee a step in the right direction. We need to keep adding dirt to these levees. We're going to have to get these things up on a second lift, but uh, fantastic seeing the progress that's being made. We also asked Congressman Graves if federal funds are available to help the city of New Orleans build back its beleaguered drainage system. He said some members of Congress frown upon using federal funds to improve internal drainage in a city. Graves says he has been in touch with Mayor Mitch Landrew, and for now, FEMA and the Army Corps of Engineers are, proving, uh, are providing assistance and resources.